Welcome to this video presentation from 3M. In the next few minutes we'll show you just how simple it is to get a top quality paint finish while minimizing the costs associated with your paint finishing process. Thanks to the all new perfected paint finishing system from 3M. Now, more than ever, the quality of your paint job is affected by technical changes in the paint industry itself, particularly with regard to high solids low VOC paints. These new paints can be harder and more difficult to work with than traditional paints. This is especially true if you're using outdated paint finishing products. When used properly, the perfected paint finishing system can help you save time and avoid some of the most common paint finishing pitfalls. Let's take a detailed look at the 3M perfected paint finishing system and learn some helpful tips for using it properly. The system has everything you need for sanding, scratch refinement, compounding, machine polishing, and swirl elimination. For the first step, sanding, 3M is pleased to introduce its most recent innovation in abrasive technology with the all-new 3M Trizac clear coat sanding disc in grade P1500. This disc is designed to be used damp on a dual action sander, which can be two to three times faster than wet sanding by hand. The small amount of water required to dampen the disc helps eliminate dust and the curly cues or pigtails that sometimes result from dry sanding with the DA sander. An additional benefit of sanding damp is that you can use a DA sander with a large orbit, and a large orbit means you can get the job done faster. Let's take a look at what we mean by the term orbit. All dual action sanders move up and down as they rotate. Some finishing DAs will have a very small orbit and may move up and down as little as 3 30 seconds of an inch during use. Other body man type DAs will have a very large orbit with up to 9 16 of an inch movement. In general, the larger the orbit, the more aggressive the tool is. Traditionally, color sanding with the DA was limited to smaller orbit tools. This is because large orbit tools would cause the sandpaper to clog and create deep curly cue scratches or pigtails. But, since the new Trizac clear coat sanding disc runs damp, you can use an aggressive tool to get the job done faster, without the risk of deep curly cue scratches. Use the Trizac clear coat sanding disc for your first step in the paint finishing process. It does a great job of helping you to minimize dust nibs and match the texture of adjacent panels. Here's a tip to help you get the best possible results during the sanding steps. Whenever possible, use a soft interface pad with your abrasive disc. The soft interface pad helps you get a finer finish from your abrasive and it makes the disc more responsive and easier to use on curved surfaces. For larger dust nibs or defects, it may be necessary to sand without the interface pad. Simply remove the interface pad to level the defect and then put it back on to continue sanding larger areas. Here's another tip. When sanding, use moderate air pressure. If the tool runs too slowly, the sanding process will take too long. However, if you run it too fast, the abrasive may wear prematurely and you could cause damage to the panel. Remember, the Trizac clear coat sanding disc is designed to run damp, so before you begin, apply just enough water with a spray bottle to dampen the disc and the panel you're sanding. Be careful not to add too much water or the disc will hydroplane, which decreases the abrasive performance. You'll know the disc is working because the water on the panel will thicken into white slurry. That slurry is actually the sanded clear coat mixing with the water. As you sand, remember to use 50% overlapping passes to get the most complete coverage. After sanding a few panels, you'll get the feel of how many passes you'll need to make before your sanding is complete. In the meantime, you may want to keep a rubber squeegee on hand to check your work. The second step is scratch refinement, which is really just sanding the surface even finer, so much so that you actually begin to polish the paint. For this step, use the 3M Trizac foam disc in grade P3000 to remove the sand scratches from the previous step. The Trizac grade P3000 disc is one of the biggest time savers in the system. This is because the disc refines the surface so well that it can cut your time spent on compounding by up to half. Again, whenever possible, use a soft interface pad for best results. Now, to begin scratch refinement, Dampen the disc and the panel just as you did with the grade P1500 disc, remembering not to use too much water. Sand with overlapping passes until you see that light slurry develop on the panel. Now use a paper towel to remove the slurry. You'll know when the P1500 scratches have been removed because the surface will appear semi-polished. Now that scratch refinement is complete, you're ready for the third step, compounding. With 3M Perfected Rubbing Compound, which is 3M's highest performing compound ever. This new compound was designed specifically for the newer, harder clear coats used in shops today. 
It cuts very quickly, but leaves a great finish that is easily refined by the next step in the 3M perfected paint finishing system. It should be noted that the old school method of evaluating a rubbing compound by rubbing a small amount between your thumb and forefinger is no longer a good gauge for evaluating 3M compound. It used to be that if you could feel the grit, then the compound was fast cutting. But you may recall that compounds with a gritty feel also left deep swirl marks that were very difficult to remove. The new 3M Perfected Rubbing Compound achieves a fast cut with an innovative combination of mineral and chemical technology. So it's fast, but it's not gritty, and that means shallower swirl marks that are much easier to remove later. Before you begin compounding, equip your buffer with either a 3M wool compounding pad or a 3M foam compounding pad, depending on your preference. Here's a quick tip to help choose the pad that's right for you. Some technicians prefer wool pads because they cut fast and run cooler. Other technicians prefer foam pads because they do not lint and finish finer. Either choice will effectively remove the sand scratches and give you professional results every time. Now, apply a small amount of compound to the surface. Compound with medium pressure at 1200 to 2000 RPM with 50% overlapping passes to remove the sand scratches from the previous step. When the sand scratches have been removed, use light pressure and work the residual compound back up into the pad. Now, use a paper towel or cloth to remove any remaining compound residue. After compounding, the sand scratches should be gone and the surface should appear glossy. However, compound swirls will still be visible. Before moving to the next step, take the time to inspect the surface to ensure that the sand scratches have been entirely removed. Use the 3M sun gun, as it does a great job of highlighting your work. If sand scratches are still present, repeat the compounding step.